Welcome to Flashback Tracks. Travel back in time each Friday to an era of big hair, leg warmers, and Walkmans. Far out. Veg out with some clips from Downtime Broadcasting's promotional audio cassette magazine from the 80s and 90s, right here on the World Wide Web. Selling 101, the sales university of the air. Here's a lesson we call a worksheet approach to selling advantages of a product or product line. This is an approach for aggressive feature advantage and benefit, or FAB, as we call it, salespeople to practice when trying to organize a presentation. It's also valid when it's time to add a new line to your portfolio or sell a new product or product grouping from certain suppliers. You know, not everything that comes down the pike is right for you. You must be selective in what you sell. You must analyze the benefits to you and your prospects. Take a sheet of paper, write down the name of the product or product line on the top, make two columns, the one on the left should be labeled features, and the one on the right should be labeled benefits. Now each feature listed should be a single feature, however the benefits of that one feature could be many, so leave plenty of space beneath each feature to allow for the listing of numerous benefits. If the product was a mechanical pencil, you would simply put down refillable lead as a feature on the left side. But there are numerous advantages in that the mechanical pencil is reusable, it will be longer lasting. However, the ultimate benefit that you could write down in the benefit column is that the customer's logo will remain with the recipient longer. Other features could be the pencil's metal casing, matching pen, or individual gift box. Each has an advantage to the buyer and an ultimate benefit. Once you've completed a worksheet, it can be clipped to the catalog or your promotional page. Next, circle or ordinate the benefits you have discovered in order of priority. List first those benefits which you feel are most important to the specific customer you are presenting the product or products to. Once you have your benefits and have reviewed the catalog, you have the fundamental product knowledge. No matter how long you're in the industry, 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, or just 10 minutes, new products are constantly coming your way. New lines are constantly being reviewed. The best way to see the sellability, the best way to familiarize yourself, is to look at the catalog and ask yourself as you view it, what are the benefits to the customer? Which customer will benefit? Who am I currently selling that benefits? How do I present these benefits? If you come up with solid answers, then you know you have a potential winning product with product knowledge gained by your analysis and you're ready to close in on a sale. In walking a trade show, in looking through your sample room, it's benefits, not products, you must look for. Know your product benefits and know the benefits of a given supplier. For example, if there were two towel suppliers and one was regional, then the benefit of low freight and quicker delivery is something you won't see in a catalog. Knowing benefits allows you to assess competition and your competitor's product, too, when you're on the front line. On Tuesday, for example, you may be presenting key tags from the ABC line. However, on Wednesday, you may be critiquing that same ABC key tag because the benefits of another product for another customer are the benefits of a key tag. Try looking at things today with an eye of evaluating the benefits. You can do it at lunch, buying gas, or back in the office. It gives you a new slant on buying and selling. Travel back in time with us next Friday as we share more clips from the 80s and 90s on another rad episode of Flashback Tracks, exclusively on Promo Corner. Time to bounce.